Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to my channel, Portfolio Official. Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe icon and turn on your notification post to get updated whenever I post new videos. Muslim community wants eradication of Big Brother Niger in Nigeria immediately. The Muslim right concern has attacked the government of President Muhammad Buhari for allowing Big Brother Niger reality show to go on in Nigeria. The Islamic group labeled the show as being immoral, dangerous, and stupid. They argue that Big Brother Niger is currently making waves in Nigeria because of some romantic senses among housemates. The group leader, who was identified as Professor Isha Akintola, stated that we are forcibly dragged into a world of nudity, shamelessness, and stupidity. Inmates of Big Brother Niger kiss, romance, and engage in sex openly. Big Brother Niger is antisocial, crude, and immoral. It constitutes a potential danger to every home out there in Nigeria. He said that Big Brother Niger is satanic and unacceptable. He asked questions like, where are our norms and values? Is it good to have open sex in African culture? Where are the authorities? Is the National Orientation Agency on Sabbatica? Who will put out children of Nigeria from this nonsense? And who did this to Nigeria? He however mentioned that the reality show is dragging our children into a life of moral illness. It is obviously robbing them the last virtues of honor. It is deleting the word shame from the vocabulary of Nigeria. Big Brother Niger has alienated our youth from our elders by irresponsible social crisis. He also said that we must see people who are spoiling our children with huge amounts of money, big cars and palatial houses in the name of Big Brother Niger as those bent on destroying industry, diligence and integrity among Nigerian youth. Nothing destroys a nation faster than materialism, he said. The daughters of Jesse Bear are already in Big Brother Niger, and unless we move with the absolute speed of light, human dignity in Nigeria is gradually dying down. He further said that, do we not realize that every single BB Niger housemate who will win the high amount of money and a car will corrupt more than 50 million young people in Nigeria? Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality so as to indulge in every kind of impurity with a continual loss for more. Already, the desperate quest for wealth by all means has gripped Nigerian youth like high fever. It has railroaded them to Yahoo Yahoo, ritual killings, and a museum mentality of stealing female pants. The development is highly satanic and calls for serious concern, and we, the Muslim community, is deeply concerned. The Muslim and the Christian community must have to come together as one with all their energies and fight this satanic show away from Nigeria. Professor Akintola argued that we can put to an end this nonsense called Big Brother Niger if Christians and Muslims bury their differences together and come together as one and fight it because the destructive influence of Big Brother Niger has penetrated both the Christian and the Muslim groups. He said that traditional rulers from the East, West, North and Southern parts of Nigeria has to come together as one to end the satanic show. He said that we charge the Ministry of Information and Culture to move sharply against this satanic show called Big Brother Niger before mental illness becomes Nigeria's middle name. We appeal to the National Assembly and the Senate and traditional rulers of Nigeria to add their voices to this campaign. So guys, I thank you for watching this video to the end. Personally, I'm not happy with this press release or this nonsense because I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Big Brother Niger. So let us drop our comments on the comment section with our fans of Big Brother Niger and I'll make a video which will be titled the reaction of Big Brother Niger against the eviction of Big Brother Niger in Nigeria. Thank you.